Well, Elitch Gardens is gearing up for its upcoming season, and it needs a lot of help to make that happen. So the park is hosting hiring fairs this weekend to fill hundreds of job openings. Yeah, and Denver 7's Christian Lopez was at this event. She shares how for some, this opportunity could not have come at a better time. Elish Gardens has been around for 135 years and it's always a very popular family destination. Also a popular spot for this group of people hoping to secure one of their open positions. The demand for jobs this year has been extremely high. So we're expecting 700 or so people to show up over the first two days of this job fair. General Manager David Dorman says the process is quick. Applicants can get hired right on the spot and they come back for their orientation and then they go through the department training and then they begin their work. It was a good turnout at the job fair at Elidge Gardens. They're hoping to fill more than a thousand positions this season. One man we met said he was just thankful for the opportunity to be able to apply here. Feliz, feliz. Luis Daniel is from Venezuela. He came out to the job fair after he says he finally got his work permit a few days ago. Ya puede uno buscar trabajo. The park is just a few feet away from the place he was calling home. This encampment that's been growing nearby. But he says he recently found a place to live. He's now also hoping to land a job. As long as someone is legal to work here in the United States and we have positions available, we're going to consider that applicant. You know, we have a lot of a lot of Spanish speaking employees already. And so any language barrier we could work with and we could put them in maybe in positions that may not require their English to be their first language. And when it comes to all of these tents in the area, Elitch Gardens says they've been told by the city that it's all a temporary situation. The park will open at the end of April. The city of Denver says there is no time frame for when the encampment will be cleared, but they say they're working with the park and with nonprofits to figure out a plan. In Denver, I'm Christian Lopez, Denver 7.